Good afternoon. We are privileged to have Mr. Ryu here today. And this is uh, partially by the largesse of the, um, the Duke of Edinburgh, who has made, his, his foundation has made uh, Mr. Ryu the, a fellow of Churchill College, Cambridge. So Mr. Ryu has been in uh, Cambridge and in Britain for three months on a fellowship. And this is the closing few weeks of his time in the UK. So Moisen was lucky to get a chance to invite Mr. Ryu to come and speak to us about the work of uh, Beyond Space Group. As the students of the school of the AA know, we're increasingly devoting our energies to landscape, issues of landscape and how modernism and landscape have begun to form new kinds of practice. Uh, they're interdisciplinary forms of practice between landscape and architecture. So Mr. Ryu is a, a, an ideal person to speak to us. He was educated at Hanyang University in Seoul uh, in architecture and then <coughs> later at the Korean National University in landscape architecture. And therefore, between those two, two disciplines, I think he's making a very particular territory in his, the work of his practice. Um, the other issue that I think is quite significant for people in the school, I know that my students uh, who are coming from Germany, Japan, Korea, South America, I know that it's something that we struggle with in this school, how to be work on international projects, on a sort of world architecture, a culture, an international architectural culture, but at the same time to be able to return home and slip into the clothes of the, of the native. Uh, and I think that that issue of the relationship of traditional forms to our quite technological architecture is, is a very significant issue at home for Mr. Ryu, but also here in the AA, I think that we grapple with this, you could say contradiction, but also this potential every day. Uh, obviously, that has been something quite significant in the literature for the past few decades of how to create identity while working within international forms of technology and architecture. So a few more notes about uh, Mr. Ryu educated at Hanyang University and Korean National University. He worked in the, the famous space group of architects in Seoul, and that was from 1974 to 1986, where having achieved the position of director of the space group, in 1986 he founded the Beyond Space Group, also in Seoul. The Beyond Space Group, uh, in its 14 or 15 years has had some very particular notable successes in competition, winning competition projects, especially the 868 towers in China, the tallest building project in China. The international competition um, for the Capitol Gate in Beijing, which was won by the Beyond Space Group in 1994. And in 1998, Mr. Ryu's practice successfully um, entered and won the 2002 Seoul World Cup Stadium competition. And naturally, that project is moving ahead very rapidly for the uh, combined Olympic Games in 2002. So the one thing that I noted particularly in, in the publication, in this good publication, is that uh, Mr. Ryu describes himself as a, as a country boy working with city manners. And I think that he's going to address those specific topics today. Mr. Ryu. Uh, thank you very much for your very nice introduction for me. Uh, just yesterday, I arrived in London from Cambridge. You know, the, first of all, I bought my jacket uh, from the, the shop because, you know, the, when I had a lecture in Sheffield University last 
March and in Martin Center of Cambridge and the Edinburgh University in the last week at the time of course I took on the my very casual jacket uh, the, the very casual jumper but for your A school uh, I changed this uh, little bit more <laughs> you know it means how I'm much polite to AA and respect to AA students. You know. uh, the first half of the, my lecture, maybe uh, I would like to introduce my, some, uh, my major words, not only for the membrane structure, but second half, I would like to talk about my experience about the membrane structure, uh, the architecture. Uh, it means include the Seoul Olympic Park and the recent uh, my major work of uh, just as he introduced my 202 World Cup Stadium. It, uh, and, uh, it means I like very much about the membrane tensile structure. But uh, tensile structure means it looks like a very a high technical building. But in really from ancient time the, we, we already we have uh, this kind of structure. But anyway, uh, um, as he said, the, my main topic might be about the, the how to the, some combination with the modern or ultra technical high architecture and the vernacular or local architecture. But in my thinking, there are no differences. Only the way to the architecture design is always the same. Uh, I, I will say through the, my picture the how I can say it's always the same. Uh, the vernacular or high tech, the way is not different. Because only the context is only different. The architectural design, the method or design, the process is always the same, I think. Okay, the, uh, let me show the, my some last project. It's another lecture on the talking about my experience. And uh, this is my home village, just beautiful, just under the mountain. And uh, according to the Korean or the Chinese landscape theory, it, we say it's a fancy theory. The background must be uh, the beautiful mountain. And the front of the village, of course, we have the very beautiful stream also like that. And this is my second about 20 years ago, in the same, same village. It means that the uh, natural condition is different from the England, of course. It means uh, we must have uh, a very traditional, different architecture uh, from England or European yeah, culture countries. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is a house, uh, one of the tradition, one of the uh, local government treasure building. My wife was born in this house. And uh, this is one of the very famous the pavilion in Gyeongbu province and it belongs to the, my mother's uh, home, home, <coughs> home. It means, you know, the, I was born in very Confucius in the high level society in Gyeongbu province and, and I'm a chief uh, influence from the very traditional Korean cultures. And, and I was born also like this very uh, traditional Korean house. So the, uh, this is a very uh, the traditional Korean building. But the, here we can say, in, in fixed mind, uh, the two stories building must be higher than the one floor building. But here, <coughs> it's a one floor building is higher than two stories building. And also the, from this house, it's just it, this building is just uh, my neighbor's building. And uh, I like the deep shadow from this roof and just under the timber and uh, make some you know, horizontal line and the white wall and white papers. This is very traditional Korean. But uh, from the image of this building, I designed some of the, uh, the, the more than 15 years ago, I designed this Samhari house. And uh, I think the Maybe not by the European architect, maybe 
uh, almost I can say cannot be designed like uh, this modern house. Because uh, from base of this building, the experience of to leading uh, this kind of traditional building, so I could design like that. From here, of course, this is a very modern uh, technical building, but I use the, this uh, timber structures. But uh, there are two kinds of timber structures in my understanding, you know. The one is the, the column and the frame, and it means the, like uh, the lamen structure with the timber. This is a very traditional uh, building. But another kind of timber structure is the only make a wall with a 2x4 or, or the nowadays in the United States or Canada, the, they make a wall with a timber. But uh, the make a wall with a timber is quite a different structure concept with this kind of the ramen frame structure. From this, uh, uh, the, the uh, the wooden frame structure, it can be very easily convert to the steel or concrete lamin structure. It means, you know, the room by one, room and one, room and room, it makes a building into very western thinking. But the, uh, with the, the framework, without wall, wall is always free from the structure. It makes the very, yeah, uh, flexible space. According to the Louis Kahn's theory, he is the room and room. It, I think it's a very western city. But anyway, uh, when I designed this uh, small house, uh, of course I, I like to use this timber uh, frame structure. But this part also I use the measurement and the concrete wall structure. Because uh, this is the main house, this is the, some uh, extra uh, building. So the, I want to give us some hierarchy for this building. This is the main, this is the building. But uh, 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 the, anyway, I, I like this uh, very deep, the dark shadow and the horizontal deep uh, dark place just under the floor. And uh, from this plan, uh, from this room to this room, and uh, the air can move to directly like a depth. And uh, from every room, uh, uh, it can face to the each piece. It's a not double uh, uh, the layer, a very single layer. It's a very traditional Korean house. Uh, and also, of course, I use the timber structure. And uh, you know, the, uh, very frankly, let me say, according to the Korean regulation in Green Zone, uh, the not allowed the cantilever one meter more. After one meter more, it must be calculated the building area. So the, I make the open space like that. After the permission, I put the glass on this part. This is my, my work to, almost 20 years ago in the, one of the uh, very beautiful national park in Korea, in the northern part of Korea, just a place to the North Korea. And on the, on the top of the hill, the, uh, when I designed this building, um, the uh, first important thinking was uh, how to adopt a very steep uh, existing slope. So the, I must put the column and uh, make a very long cantilever, which is more than six meters. And of course, this structure, it looks like the wooden uh, timber structure, but in the real, uh, this part is very strong, the, the wind and a lot of the snows, according to the very difficult condition of the contest. So I must use the uh, steel frame together with the timber, the combination of the system. Ah, this is uh, my, uh, my drawing. Uh, from here to the here, the cantilever is more than 6.6 meters long. And uh, this is the, it make some focus? Okay. Yeah. But from, uh, at the time, the 20 years ago, it means we are not very young. Uh, but uh, at the time, carefully I designed all of the detail of this building. In case, uh, 
and there are no differences from structure and architecture. Structure itself is architectural, the interior design also. So the, uh, sometimes uh, I want to insist to the students uh, the, with deep understanding of the structure, it makes uh, some of the beautiful interior also. So the, even in my understanding about the architecture and the landscaping and architecture, structure, enemy or interior design, it's always a very holistic relation. So we must have a deep understanding about it together, I think. Yeah. Yeah. This is my design, 1970. This is my sketch of 1975 in Tehran, uh, just north part of Tehran, and the, the just under the mountain Alboj. We say it's the Alboj created in Tehran. And, uh, and we designed, uh, I, I designed uh, this uh, uh, very unusual shape uh, in, in the very steep side. Uh, of course, I like to put the building on the very slope uh, the, the mountain area, as I showed by the architect. And uh, at the time, the, uh, when I designed this building, most important thing was uh, was uh, traffic on this building because you know from here to how to get to the here so the I thought maybe I see the first time in the world the 45 degrees elevator without 45 degrees elevator this building could be erected so the I made some idea and I asked to the Mitsubishi in Japan and the Otis in the United States but finally, the autistic state confirmed that they said uh, no experience, but we will do, maybe we can do. And after that, finally, they confirmed that we can do for this 45 degrees and later. So the, I can show the client about this design with the confirmation from the autist. So the Tehran Te Development Company, the client, he agreed to this building. So we completed all construction documents construction stage did. and I stayed in Tehran one year uh, as a supervisor for the construction. But uh, uh, very unfortunately, at the, uh, the end of the uh, 70s, uh, there was uh, the, the, the revolution. So the, I come out from, <laughs> I, I, I cannot say it's paper, but uh, <laughs> anyway, I must come out from Tehran. It was my first time to stay in foreign country, Tehran. So I like, I like Tehran so much. And uh, at the time, the, uh, the I thought about this uh, terrace house because the three meter setback means the little include the 1.7 meter the cantilever. It means that every unit has more than 4.7 meters of terrace length, and it would need to reset. So every unit has a very big yard. So that we can put a, a, a plant like that. So the Kenyan, my friend, uh, just before I met him, uh, he said, according to the ecological, the high-rise building, he said uh, the vertical green. But I can say from this building, it's a diagonal green. <laughs> and it's my sketch when I was very young, 31 years old. And uh, uh, in recent, about uh, almost eight years ago, 1992, uh, I won the competition for high-rise building in Hainan. You know, the Hainan is one of the biggest islands in China. And uh, the, uh, the, the client, they want the uh, some housing, housing apartment towers and the office zone and the hotel. He wants the most highest the hotel in the world. So the, at the time we began, when uh, my proposal 80 stories, but in the real time they uh, uh, decided 86 stories. But uh, uh, it was the international the nominated competition. Uh, I was very uh, hesitate how to design with my first experience for high-rise building. But at the time I thought, 
uh, about the uh, Chinese mind and Chinese context. Of course, very important of Chinese uh, natural this, the mountain. From the image of this mountain, it is very oriental, very uh, far east landscape uh, in shape, even in Korea, even in China. So I thought about this uh, very steep uh, rock. So the, I, did, I put the, the architectural design on this building. Like that. So the, from here to here, from 20 stories, no, no, from uh, 25 stories level, I, did, I make up the waterfall here. Then maybe if we complete this building, maybe the highest artificial waterfall in the world. Next and uh, in my image at the time, 1992, it was one of the sketch for me. And it was uh, my final presentation to the client, Chinese client, you know, how to persuade the Chinese client and how to win the competition. It's one of the important way for architect. So the the client is Chinese, so I must apply, I must apply uh, the, the approach to the Chinese mind. You know, the client mind and the client pocket money is one of the, the very important architectural context. You know, the, what do you mean the context? In my understanding about the context, I think um, many factors which influence to the architectural design but almost it couldn't be changed by architect. So I mean the weather, wind, and traffic condition, and the soil condition, and the view. Many of the objective of uh, the uh, item, even just as I said, uh, the client money, on the client characters, and, uh, we cannot change. But it is very, very important about the architecture design. So we must have deep understanding about the context first for good design, I think. But anyway, the, uh, I give uh, this perspective uh, with a very traditional Korean Chinese paper with a brush. And I wrote this uh, the Chinese writer by myself. You know, the, uh, we are competing all over the big company from the United States, Kelson. Of course, they show the uh, by animation or very high technical approach. Of course, we did also, but the, I include this uh, emotional approach to Chinese client mind. And I wrote like that. You know what it means? This, this one is uh, in my concept. It looks like a uh, the Chinese Korean mountain, but this part is very, very looks very high technical Western style. So I want the reflection of this building to mirror this world. So in the, it means the harmony with East and West, and sometimes you can say male and female in Yang. Um, so the 2000 years ago, one of the very famous philosophers of the Chinese, he said like that, long and short, uh, it can be some uh, harmony. And uh, low and high, we can um, make attraction together. It means uh, male and female, it makes harmony in the universe. So this is the uh, Chinese uh, Lao Tzu, which is very important theory. So I explained uh, for this highlight building without the twin tower. And also I designed some of the twin tower buildings, but I say maybe uh, United States architect will design like as that. It was very correct. So they failed and I won the competition. It all of the way how to win the competition to at China. And, and uh, this is my uh, plan, this is my sketches. Also I showed it. But uh, you know the when I uh, in competition term the uh, when I hesitate how to design, the suddenly I, I read the one of the book from the very famous uh, Korean the poet 500 years ago. Uh, his name is Kim Shih Tzu, very, very famous scholar. In his poem, he said, different is the same 
same is different, different same is same. It means, you know, the male and the female or uh, something, the East, Eastern style or Western style, it can make harmony together. From this point, suddenly I decided to make it very different, the two kinds of the building together. It, I think, very unusual in the United States, because, you know, in Korea, we have the twin tower designed by the United States. Also, really twin. Twin means brother and brother. A real twin. In my concept, in our oriental, uh, our, the, uh, the, the far east, because of mind. Twin means always fighting together. It couldn't make harmony. Anyway, it, it must get at the time. Yes. And after winning the competition, already, uh, we completed the, the, all the design, stage, design development stage. But uh, several years ago, the client, uh, Chinese government changed, and uh, here's some political and uh, financial uh, criminal things now hidden in Jewish. So that my higher education is just start. But now I'm expecting uh, when we start again in Russia. But uh, uh, after in the, the competition also, I was invited from Beijing government. And the total front of new railroad station in Beijing, there are, they want to have the redeveloping area, a very huge redeveloping area. From here to about two kilometers and uh, about one kilometer the width of the very huge redevelopment project in China. And also we got competition, and also finally we have competition with the Kellison uh, base in the Seattle of the United States. <coughs> and, uh, but uh, uh, I thought also in the United States, uh, Kellison, they designed, I thought, I imagined, already I paused uh, thinking. Of course, they, they designed like this, this skyline. Yeah. And the center part must be higher according to the their thinking. But I thought it's not correct for China. Because according to the chemistry theory, the high-rise building, instead of the uh, natural mountain, I put the high-rise building behind on the side. And also I put the main structure, main big building in the hotel. Uh, uh, easily you can say it. Uh, left hand the blue dragon, right hand the white tiger, which are from the fancy theory. So I designed the hotel like an image from the tiger, image from the dragon, blue dragon. Anyway, and, uh, and behind I put the high rise building like this mountain, and the front, of course, I must put the water. Water means, you know, the, it must not be straight in, in the party. Water must be looks a very natural curve really. And natural curve of landscape also this water it can be useful for the uh, the tracking also the five boards and like as a point in Cambridge. And uh, and according to the same uh, the philosopher Lauge, he said uh, like as a bicycle, a wheel of like as a wheel most important part of the site or most important part of the center must be empty. So it's a, a very a Chinese concept. So the, I didn't put the, any building in the center part of this site. So and I, uh, so I, of course, I did like explain to the judges and the clients. And I said, it's, a, it's my trick, you know. Uh, it's one of the points. Sudong Pa, very famous poet in China 500 years ago. According to the, his the, the poem, he said like that, uh, when he watched the mountain through the vertically, it looks like only one, one the, the hill. When he walked through the, uh, uh, like this way, it looks like so many mountains. And the far and the near, and high and the low, cannot find the same hills in the mountain. So, I cannot understand the real mountain of this Lisan. Lisan is a famous mountain name. Because 
Why I can now understand the real mountain? Because, he said, because now I am in the mountain. In the mountain, he said, cannot understand the real mountain. It means for this important Chinese project, uh, in China, Chinese architect cannot solve, cannot understand this, this thing. But the United States is too far. So from Korea, from the view of from Korea, <laughs> we can understand the Chinese. So I explained, it's one of the ways to appreciate the client, you know. The, of course, one of the architectural role, a design, of, of course, is very, very important, first of all. But second, sometimes first, how to appreciate the client to win, to win the competition. Yeah. Anyway, uh, and of course, it's written by myself, because from since uh, five years old, uh, yeah, I, I, I learned the Chinese character, how to write in the brush. So the, I, I, I can make Chinese character maybe sometimes better than if the Chinese person. Sure, it's another joke, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, anyway, finally I won the competition for this very huge project. Yeah. And uh, I've seen this experience for the many important uh, survey station in Korea. When I designed the survey station in, in the Busan city, uh, and the, you know, survey station is usually this structure designed by the civil engineer, but there are only very small gate here. But I appreciate the major of the Busan city about 15 years ago. Yeah, the, just the front of the railroad station, there are a big pleasure. So the, I tried the, so many times to have this kind of landscape. But the, in project, they have no uh, project to have this landscape. But uh, I tried to try spread so much. And finally, even beautiful or not, uh, and for the citizen, and the final, I realized this uh, uh, the landscape is one of the entrance of the subway station. But uh, after completion of this uh, small uh, important part, it was uh, very, very useful in Kusan City. Kusan City, they like uh, this small part very much, in my time also. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, it's one of the very important survey stations in Korea. And I think uh, last year in Paris, for 100 years uh, anniversary, uh, for the survey station, and uh, they had uh, an exhibition, exhibition in, in Paris about this my design the survey station. So you know, this is a very high technical and without color, column free space, uh, uh, very important structure. Of course, designed by myself, and uh, but uh, with the high technical the structure system. Also, the, I put uh, some Korean element, uh, and uh, and this is not only for the survey for the patient journey. This area is very useful for the exhibition hall in Korea. And uh, maybe it, it means uh, for long run, it means uh, if you pass through this gate, became very young, or the hip. So everyone like to pass this gate, uh, old people or young people. Yeah. And also it's the first time to use a very, uh, not majorly, it's a very dry wall. It's the first time to use the dry wall in a uh, survey station in Korea. Uh, almost 20 years ago, no, almost 17 years ago, I designed the survey station. Next slide. And also this is uh, uh, the platform. And uh, in this uh, looks very high technical uh, building, but all age, uh, you, you can see some very traditional Korean world. And uh, let me say for second half, uh, let me say some some my experience about tensile structure. As I mentioned uh, just before. Uh, tensile structure is not only for the high technical building of nowadays. Uh, even in ancient times, uh, we had uh, the, this kind of the 
tensile bulky system. So from this and this, you know, this is, a, as you know, this very, very famous Minhyan Munich Olympic Fashion, I mean, stadium designed by Pryot and others. Um, but from here, this membrane, from this membrane, the structure comes in the perfect same. Instead of this the wooden pole, they use the very strong modern steel columns, steel mast. And also instead of this the very weak the, uh, rope, the, they use the very strong cable structure. Only the material changed, structure concept did not change. So the, even the looks are high technical, but the design concept is uh, from ancient, I see. And also, why they, have, they need this, this, this uh, membrane structure in market? You know, without any wall, even small the tent on the roof, on, 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 on the roof, it, it makes a shadow and it makes some shelter and it, uh, uh, you know, makes some attraction for the fire. It's, uh, it's one of the very important architectural concepts. Anyway, the, uh, let me say about the, what kind of a structure for membrane. Yeah. Uh, it's one of the ways, not only for the, uh, to cover the roof only, to make the uh, interior the membrane structure, there are so many ideas in the world. It's one of the ideas that uh, use the very conventional truss and hang the, and pull this uh, cable and uh, cover the the membrane and, the, and with this rich cable, they pull and the little tension cable. It, it's a very, very easy uh, system. But uh, since 1970, uh, uh, 1970 in Osaka exposition at the time for the American Pavilion, they one of the very famous uh, the membrane structure engineer, David Geiger, he invented the the air dome structure, air dome structure, uh, in the first time in the world. Uh, uh, this Tokyo dome, also the, uh, the air dome structure system. But the air dome structure system in this area, you can guess, uh, 24 hours maintenance is required because to keep the, the shape of the ceiling 24 hours, every day must blow up the air to supporting the roof. Uh, it's one of the problems. But still that, I think, it's one of the most cheap and the most uh, uh, the easy construction for the column tree for huge space still left in the world. Maybe for the Millennium Dome, maybe if they knew it, the Air Dome, maybe one tenth investment is more than enough, I think so. Anyway, uh, it's it named uh, a big, big egg in Tokyo Dome. Uh, it's a very clever, uh, different system uh, designed by the not uh, HOK, the CLS. The CLS is uh, imported by the HOK now. Anyway, so this the uh, building is in uh, Florida, Univers Florida University's indoor stadium in, uh, in, in Florida. But this is, then you can see, it, but this is the, uh, this, the, the nickname of this building is uh, Mr. Bubble. Because this is uh, so many bubbles, it's uh, supporting by air. And also the, this part, uh, as I mentioned, uh, used on traditional, uh, the truss only covers the membrane seat. So it's a, a combination, two kinds of the situation. When I visited here in 1980, 1984, uh, this season, in uh, April, and there was some graduation ceremony. After the ceremony, students all come out through this door, and then the roof was sunk because of the air we just the roof is sunk on the natural. And after closing the door, uh, it takes more than 30 minutes and blow up the roof and keep, to keep this shape. Very, very interesting. Thank you.
But uh, as I said to you, to keep this shape need uh, 24 hours of maintenance. So, and, uh, uh, so now I'm explaining about my, my design, the Seoul Olympics in the state of gymnastic halls. Uh, this is the, without any air support, but the, we need the cable from structure system. First uh, kind of the structure in the world. Uh, this is my design. So in the uh, stadium for gymnastic course. Let me explain something about this video. Yes. And before Seoul City became a uh, first city of 1988 Olympic Games, already in space of, of Korea and my former company, and uh, we designed, already we designed this uh, main complex for Seoul City. But after it became a hot city, of course uh, this uh, stadium is used for the Olympic Games. So the, uh, in real it, it, it's the main stadium for the last 88 Olympic Games, but in architecturally, it was not designed for the Olympic Games. So the, uh, my teacher, Professor Kim Sejun, he, uh, he had some reflection about that. So when we got the chance to design the Olympic Park, and I was in charge of this project at the time, uh, he and me, we thought uh, we need some uh, more intentional, uh, more, more hypothetical uh, the approach for the Olympic community. Because you know, the, in history of the Olympic and World Cup, uh, yeah, they con Olympic and the World Cup contribute a lot to the innovative structure system in the world. So we must succeed uh, that uh, history. So the, uh, at the time, the, my design, uh, this is velodrome, weightlifting, and fencing, and tennis pool, and swimming pool. But before the com uh, construction of this swimming pool, except that this one, this is four patients was used for the 1986 Asian Games also. But uh, even, I, even so, I designed all fabric structure like that. Fabric means, you know, that we can keep the very low structure and can the, uh, the harmony with the very which is the very low hills. Uh, but the South City finally decided only four, only these two buildings are allowed to have the public uh, capital structure. This is the, the nighttime, the figure at Olympic season. The, one of the very important character of the membrane structure is the translucent lighting. In daytime, the lighting is translucent through this material and uh, almost without any artificial lighting, we can uh, use uh, this uh, for stadium. But also in night time, from the indoor lighting, it comes out through this material and uh, shows us an uh, unusual uh, the, the shape of the architecture. So the, uh, I am much interested in, and I am charmed with this material for new kind of the architecture. So, okay, yes. And uh, it's a very simple but uh, real innovative structure system. Uh, this is the concrete beam, concrete beam compression beam. And like it, uh, you can image from the bicycle here, and concrete here. The compression here and this green the ring is the uh, ring tension. This uh, ring tension like that. This yellow post, the compression post. This compression post is supported by the, this uh, uh, ring cable and this diagonal diagonal cable. Uh, idea is uh, looks very simple, but uh, really drives in new innovative structure system. And uh, the process of this kind of the structure. First of all, we put the columns to put the, the concrete ring like that. And the support a very heavy the center ring like that. And then we pull the old cable and take out the support. And at the completion of this uh, tensile structure, and uh, we cover the seat of the packet. Uh, start to cover the pavement like that and continuously. 
and it looks very simple, but uh, uh, really high-technical building. But after this, uh, in the uh, United States, uh, there are some different type of the cable, cable dome in Georgia dome in Atlanta, but I think it is not much advanced, uh, but a little bit set back, uh, and there are some problem in structure. But uh, this guider system is a more simple and uh, perfect, uh, even not only for the circle, even oval form is uh, very close. And of course, the, for this unusual construction system, you must uh, study a lot of the, uh, the joint detail for the tension and the compression. And uh, it's a complete, when you complete the shape. But the theory of this cable gun structure is not by the David Geiger. In 19, I remember 1954, one of the very famous engineer of the German engineer, Mr. Philo, according to the, his suspension dome uh, theory, uh, already he finalized the whole uh, the theoretical the conclusion for this suspension dome. But at the time, he could take a chance, almost impossible to realize the his system. But in his note, he said a very important thing. He said like that, uh, he imaged it. After completion of his suspension dome, it should be looks like that. He said, a lot of the a, a lot of compression island in the ocean of tension. It's uh, like a point. But uh, from his dream, just after 30 years later, uh, we we realized in Korea for this many And uh, let me say about the sports specialty, special for the. Uh, or the, the Olympic or the World Cup. You know, the, the term is only one month. But the, after the game, how to use the facility is a more, more important criteria for the sport facility design, I think. So, the, uh, you know, the, in, so in this stadium, I, I, this total capacity is about 15,000 CH. But half of the sheet, I designed a very flexible telescopic sheet. So in this, we can have very huge flat area at the move of the sheet. So the, this stadium is useful not only for the sports. So the, uh, uh, this uh, uh, genetic hall is useful for sometimes a political conference or the book exhibition or car exhibition. And the picture from the Moscow Circus uh, in, in the stadium. Uh, multiple news, post game news is always very, very important for the Olympic and World Cup. Yeah. Uh, from the building, from the, the very innovative, uh, the, the, the Tetai Structure Building, the, I am awarded the Cotton Area 88 International the, the Architecture Award, which is given to the innovative architecture. And with my teacher's name, unfortunately, unfortunately uh, he was died before the Ashanti in 1986. So in 1988, uh, the, I received this uh, meaningful award with my teacher's name, something like that. Uh, uh, so I, I can say at the time, the, one of the famous architects in Australia, Philip Cox, and the Sir Norman Foster, they received the silver medal. And I received this gold medal at the time. At the time, uh, let me, in short time, let me say about the David Geiger who invented air dome and cable dome structure across the world. As a teacher, 1988, October 1st, and at the morning, it, it was Sunday, uh, he visited my, my office, we took a picture, and, and we beat the Olympic casualties and have a dinner, lunch and dinner. I dropped him to the okay hotel, of the hotel in downtown, and I come back to my home, and I received a telephone from the hotel, he died suddenly, with heart attack, uh, at this hotel. Yeah. So the most famous main structure engineer, David Driver, he died. 
And in my office, I have two important person's photographs. One is my teacher, Kim Seo-gun, he is the, the father of the modern architecture in Korea. And the other one is David Driver. And uh, he, this date, his uh, last date of his life, and also last picture of his life. Um, I respect him so much. And after the, my experience with so Olympic Games, and I have a chance to design some uh, uh, very reasonable size in those stage in Malaysia, Sarawak. But uh, I couldn't use the membrane, but I used a very, very conventional, but uh, uh, this is a face plan structure. And also, I, I, I like to use this uh, the natural lighting for this uh, stadium. And after completion of the stadium, just by the stadium, they want to have the main stadium of Sarawak of Malaysia. So I had some contact with the Malaysia Sarawak government, and I designed the first the membrane structure of the stadium like that. And at the time, also the David Geiger's staff, even David Geiger guys, their staff to succeed their firm and they helped the me for this project at the time. Next. But unfortunately, after completion of the, my preliminary drawing of this building, the gov governor of the Sarawak governor changed, and he said to me that uh, he is a good friend in Kuala Lumpur, so he must give a job to his friend. So the Malaysian local architect, he, he designed a little bit changed, but, uh, Follow this idea and completed several years ago. And the last uh, three years ago, there were uh, world youth uh, football tournament ship was in this stadium. Yeah. Final scheme is on the same. Yes. And I tried to realize uh, some uh, membrane structure to all the countries. It's one of the uh, my. Uh, uh, the stadium for ski jump in, in, in Australia, Innsbruck, it was an uh, international UIA competition. Uh, they want to bury the, the multiple pole use. In the winter time, of course, they want to be must use it for the ski jump. And summertime, they want to have the, uh, have the tennis court. And night time also, they want to orchestra. They said in UIA uh, competition document, our requirement is almost impossible, but we need your uh, solution. So I want to solve the idea of a lot of work for this uh, competition. But the winner, he knows the limited budget of the Innsbruck city. He designed only, without any things, he designed only one blanket like that, to cover the one blanket, to make a shadow only. And of course, we couldn't uh, uh, be satisfied for the all requirements. But anyway, he won because he had very good information about the limitation of the budget of this city. But even he won the, the blanket cost, it, it was also too much in the city cancel that project. Uh, it's my strategic concept for the system. It's my sketch of the from the ski jump. It, it, uh, this part is uh, the operable system. I, I, yeah. And also, the, the I participated in Yokohama, the harbor, the terminal. Maybe as you know, the the teacher Alejandro Jairapolo, he won the competition for this meaningful project uh, with his wife, Pashid. And uh, he, we invited them to Asia Forum and I met him. And uh, he explained his work. Uh, very, very interesting. Uh, very uh, creative. New, maybe with a new term like the genetic architecture. Maybe. Anyway, uh, uh, I tried to, uh, to the membrane structure again, uh, but I did my best. But our computer world is very, uh, 
very wise. Is my concern about the uh, about the twenty meters cantilever like that and the shape of from the very traditional mm -hmm. Japanese roof uh line. Yes. And I failed a lot of the projects to realize the members of such a after the solar Olympic facilities. But finally I had some uh, good chance in Korea. Uh, it's a uh, highway cafe just uh, just near the Seoul, northern part of Seoul, on the way to the Chungcheon. And uh, the, the client, client wants a very small the, the cafe just near the highway. But, uh, uh, the, uh, but I want to have some good chance to realize my dream uh, to have a membrane architecture in Korea with Korean material and Korean engineering. But uh, I must give a very important reason to appreciate the client. I said to him that uh, on the roof is self is empty. But if you cover the sun, some uh, roof like the Shanghai roof, it could be very useful for high season. So many guests near uh, like to use the roof under the shadow. It means without any maintenance, you can get the money. So, so, so he agreed. So the, I could realize the, by the membrane structure first time in Korea. It's my the, not conception. So on the, after I finished my uh, design, I sketch it. <coughs> and I think most important thing about my architecture here. And it's also very, very the high technical the architecture also. But I think and my main concern was usually on how to harmonize the Korean very traditional uh, Korean existing landscape also. And also I think this is the, the shape the image from from the sailing um, sailing the, the membrane and also Looks like some the traditional markets also for the ceremony, a wedding ceremony also here. So the even high technical approach there a uh, uh, very traditional mind and uh, adapting well with the uh, beautiful interesting landscape in Thailand. Mm -hmm. And as I mentioned, uh, the important character of the membrane structure is uh, uh, in light time. Uh, it gives us some attraction for the users, so they want to go on this roof. And so really, after completion of this building, the client became very rich. So he, was, he earned a lot of money, but uh, his desire was too much. He invested for some stock market, and he failed. And he finished, and maybe he was in, in jail because of the financial, because he was too rich. After that, he became some criminal thing. You know, we, we must be very careful after rich. It's more important. Yeah. Anyway, the, uh, the same building, but uh, in a different type, the image is different. Like that. Yeah. It's uh, uh, it, it, it important for the architectural design, I think. So. Yeah. And also, even it looks a very high technical building, but uh, there are the existing pine trees here. If the other architect designed for this site, maybe this pine tree is not alive anymore. Because uh, I try to keep uh, this existing pine tree, even the cable, I measured the, the bridge, the height and the size, everything, and I adopted the uh, the staircase to this existing pine tree. So very carefully, the, 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 I respect the existing uh, pine tree's life. You know. yeah. Anyway, I think, and also I use very traditional material uh, uh, from the, just near the, uh, the river, uh, we get uh, some stones and use this wall for traditional.
and uh, uh, this is the uh, well, from this is a uh, high technical building, but the uh, concept is uh, traditional Korean uh, pavilion in beautiful mount in beautiful area. Usually we have the very traditional uh, pavilion without any walls, and this color make a frame of the, the landscape pictures. And uh, uh, 19, uh, 1994 was 600 years uh, anniversary uh, year of Seoul capital city. So capital city is a very old uh, Korean capital city. So Seoul city wanted a very, very huge ceremony. So the, but very temporary the ceremony stage in the downtown just in front of Seoul city hall. So the, they request me uh, to design of this uh, in, uh, the temporary stage. So the, I design, I give some idea like this. It, it, it could be, uh, of course, a temporary building must be a uh, big construction. Uh, and uh, so I design this like that and they accept. But the usual, you know, the officials and uh, uh, the journalists usually they want to know the meaning of the structure. What is the meaning? They say. I explain to them. Uh, there are the hexagonal shape. Uh, there are the, the one post means 100 years. So the, I use the six columns means 600 years. So okay. next. But uh, unfortunately, just before the three days of the ceremony, uh, uh, said to say one of the important bridge of, across the Han River. Han River is separated the north and south part of the Seoul metropolitan city. The on on morning, suddenly the center part of the bridge was collapsed. So many people and the uh, died. Um, it was a very, very, very sad uh, the accident. So Seoul City must cancel the old ceremony for 600 years uh, anniversary ceremony. So the, uh, I moved, they, I asked them to move this public park. Now this stage is using for the, some used people uh, in park. Uh, and I designed uh, this the roof with the, the transparent the glass because somebody they wanted to see the show from on the part of here they can watch it, the show girls so, so they so will be transparent glass and so city has with the, what is the meaning of this uh, very complicated structure I said uh, it's only for, for the this the same work for structure, but I must give some uh, idea the, the meaning of the structure. I said that uh, this structure means the uh, network of the whole city. Network means include infra and transportation and powers. The meaning of the network. So they said, oh, it's okay. So they agree with this design. Yeah. Uh, it's a very recent work, the, uh, just near the, the Han, Han River, very beautiful small hill, Achasan. Uh, it's also a government project, even very small size. But here uh, you can see all this space is column three. Only I put the two columns here and two big, uh, the looks heavy. A uh, roof is all hanged on these two colors. So the, I must pull down from here like that. Uh, this is very unusual the structure system, but I like the tensile structure. So this is a very simple structure, but uh, I think it's not uh, general, not unusual uh, structure system. Mm -hmm. yes. And uh, my main uh, recent uh, 
the project than to say about the Biological Cup Stadium. Just two years ago, uh, 1998, from early of the June until the early of the September, during three months, we must uh, share the uh, many documents for the competition. Uh, it's a turnkey based competition means uh, not only for the architectural design, also mechanical, electrical, and the structural analysis. And all estimate of the materials, all is required. So the, uh, for during three months, one month must be uh, finished all design. And second, second month, we must finish all the drawing and documents. And finally, third month, uh, estimating and for the construction for the project. So the first one month is very, very important for the, the competition project. Anyway, the, you know, of course, final I win, but uh, it was very difficult because uh, the, so many construction companies, they didn't want big competition. So the biggest, biggest construction company in Korea, we say Hyundai, very famous in the world, the loan company Hyundai, Samsung, Daewoo, Daewoo, LG, and Costco. We say the five dragon company. The huge company, they combined, they, they, uh, they make uh, uh, some very strong connection together, make one team only. Nobody can uh, agree with them. Uh, but uh, one of the very, very crazy small company, uh, the Samsung Engineering, even they are belong to the huge Samsung Group, but the original Samsung members is belong to the, the private browsing team, but one of the very small company. Uh, they want uh, fighting with the, the, the drawers. So they asked me the, for competition. But the, okay, the Iceland is currently for the stadium. So we start, we start uh, three years ago, early of the June for this competition. Let's see. At first, uh, the I designed like uh, that, uh, like uh, this very huge leaves. Uh, cover the stadium like that, and uh, the, the, uh, this uh, drawing was almost completed almost uh, 20 tips of the June, almost one month past since the uh, since start of the, my competition. And at the time, the, I finalized the shape of like this uh, from the circle and some little bit changes of this, like that. But the, after completion, after final decision of this plan, uh, I was a flight to the Paris. At that time, they were uh, the in high season for World Cup two years ago. But I want to find uh, some of the, uh, the atmosphere, some of the feeling in the World Cup city. And of course, much interesting about the same day state of also. But the uh, uh, most important things, what I want to see the, in Paris, the activity of the people in, in in outside of the stadium or inside of the stadium, after the finished game, so how many, how they can go out within 10 times, 10 minutes or 20 minutes, and I want to see the, the human activity. So I fly, I was fly to the Paris. So the ninth, okay, yes. Uh, but in flight, uh, the. Almost one month past to start our competition, uh, June uh, 25th, uh, at the flight. Suddenly, I watched a very important magazine, flight magazine. And there, I had the very the traditional Korean, the Bangpe, Bangpe, shield, shield kites without tail, very high technical kites without tail. So, the, I saw the kite in, in magazine. Suddenly, I saw it. Uh, this is one of the important things. The kite, you know, is made by the, the bamboo the compression frame and cover the, uh, the paper with tension. So it looks uh, uh, very strong and impressed to me. Suddenly I thought, uh, you know, in competition, uh, 
Those so cities require that, uh, uh, of course, good design, very symbolic design also. And second, very fast work for the construction and must reduce the construction cost. So the, if I design the, like this circle, so many the radius the design uh, and the length is different, so it costs a lot and takes the time for the construction. So the, suddenly I thought of from the kite, uh, real in flight, I thought about this kite, and suddenly I would change the, this straight line from the rectangular, from the rectangular shape, and all the stand could be used for the straight line. It very easy work for the concrete, concrete the members. So the in flight, uh, a simple one like that, and I sketch it from Paris in hotel just after my arrival in Paris. And uh, but uh, uh, one month a little past, I was very hurry. Uh, even one day the hotel at the time. And uh, in the hotel I sketched this image and uh, covered uh, the very traditional shield height and some of the wooden bowls uh, and some, some the very traditional tables. And uh, it's also in Paris, uh, by the, the June 25, in the same days in lifetime, the, suddenly I designed in hotel rooms. I measured all this uh, space uh, structure concept and the, the side of the plan from the rectangular shape, only cut the corner like that. And uh, uh, because I have no time, uh, for the competition at hotel, so I couldn't sleep, so I designed uh, like this. I think uh, finally this shape, uh, this is our final drawing, perfect the same. Even the module, module of the column is, uh, I think, on the same like that. So the, uh, let me say the, uh, for the post game music for the World Cup or Olympic, you know, in Sydney or any other the uh, World Cup stadium, after game, almost none use. This is the problem, I think. So the, uh, we decided that uh, in this part, this is the main the lobby of the, for the main administration part. But this part, on those part, we designed more than uh, the 13, uh, 15, very huge and deluxe movie theater we put here. And also this part it could be used for the big marks, big marks. And this part I put the swimming pool and for indoor sports facilities. And this part, you know, when for the, the game season, this part it could be used for the sponsors of storage for the Coca-Cola, Fujifilm, or they were the very huge space. So the uh, after game usage, this uh, in the, this World Cup Stadium is not only for the soccer game. Of course, it uh, was important the urban facilities like a uh, huge department store. So it, it's a very important concept. Uh, every time I want to insist to to for next World Cup uh, country to design the stadium. It must be multiple use. Anyway, the, in Paris, I designed this plan. I decided I changed everything. I must forget one, one month's work. Yes. And also, the, uh, just uh, July, June 28th, in Paris uh, Hotel, in the El Elijah Hotel in Paris, uh, I, I, I must design this section of everything and the concept of the old dimension and on the old structure system. Suddenly I decided to use the main structure at the time. So I called to the United States to take the guy who even he died to his step to his step. I called to them. So now I'm doing the very important competition. You must help me like I did my Malaysian project. They agreed. So my money is very, very limited. But uh, they agreed as much as you can do, please give me what we need your support for you. You are our very uh, close friend for more than 10 years or so. 
Anyway, I give them only, you know, uh, only 15,000 US dollars for the, for the full of uh, the preliminary design. Uh, you know, the, for another industry, for, for another small, the, the World Cup Stadium in the local city, the, one of the architects, they must pay to them for the preliminary stage. 300,000 US dollars, 300,000 US dollars. You know, the friendship is always more and more important than the document in the world, I think. So anyway, they believed me, after winning the competition, they have a very huge contract with the, the construction company, more than 1 million US dollars. So, very successful. Anyway, the, uh, I, I, I must uh, just make a decision to, to save a tile in a hotel, in my tile. Mm -hmm. Almost I couldn't see it in a hotel, but I did that. But this is at the time in the hotel, this sketch, it's our final drawing. It's our, the concept is almost the same, and every section detail is it, almost the same, not changed. Even we have more or other idea, I couldn't have a time, so I cannot change. Yeah. And also, uh, in uh, one day before, the, the June, June 27th at night time, also in Paris, I make the elevation, the height of the proportion. This is our final the, the presentation drawings, the hotel drawings, and this final drawings is perfectly the same. This is my image of the height. And when I returned to my office, to Seoul, from Paris, uh, I must join the same allocation of the, the gate of the auditory, everything. And, uh, you know, the night time, night time is daytime in the United States or New York. So the, uh, I must have a lot of the pets to New York. And uh, so the whole structure system, of course, designed by myself also. But the, uh, for the, the calculating, I must a lot of work. After the completion of the com uh, the, the competition stage, the total thickness of the tele tele uh, text is more than telephone book. Uh, so this means uh, how much I involved for this project for structure also. Uh, it's one of the page of the, what I send to the United States at the time. And this is our uh, final uh, the elevation, detail elevation. And it's uh, my highlight sketches. But usually for my design, uh, I am not much to share, I am not much in this time to design the elevation. Uh, in more than 90% always I share time for the plan and the section. I think plan is most important, section is second, I say, yeah, to make a space. But some of the uh, architects in Korea, even the, the foreign architect, they want to show the, some, the, some, some unusual shape, to design some interactive shape. If you are standing on the street, uh, either like this normal form, nobody wants to watch you. So they want to say, I am here to so make uh, some very handicapped, some twisting shape, make uh, some attraction. Uh, it's one of the way for architecture design, but it's not my way. Okay. Um, it's my some uh, detailed drawing for this uh, stadium, and usually uh, for important projects, uh, Every dimension, every every size and the slope, uh, of course, uh, drawing and design by myself. I think. Even I have more than fifty steps for important projects designed by myself and drawn by myself also. But the final computer drawing, I don't know. I am BC age, BC before computer. Uh, the AD people after digital. Uh, step 
they use the computer. So I don't know how <laughs> IMPC. Yeah. And this is our final model and the uh, computer the perspective. Uh, yes. And now it's under the construction, almost completely, the two months ago we took a picture, almost completely the structure. Like that. Next Next and uh, just uh, more than a little bit more than two months ago, the, the, uh, the structure was completed, from the flip of the car, like that. that. And, uh, and uh, let me say, this is my, my house. Uh, now, now almost completed. Before my leaving to Cambridge, at the end of the, uh, the, uh, the end of the February, I took a picture. Uh, now uh, completed, but uh, from this building, you can see the, how much I like the membrane on the top of the roof, and even uh, even rainy day, I can have some practice in the in the golf range on the roof. I like, and uh, from the staircase, I can watch it uh, through the transparent glass. I can watch it this membrane in the back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. And uh, uh, I'm sorry, would you make some uh, collection of this part? Okay, thank you. Uh, let me say some important thing. It's really my personal thinking, uh, not the uh, uh, objective thinking. Very important about the comparison about the Korean architecture or, or Japanese architecture. Uh, I think there are some, some important feelings in, in my city, uh, very close in my city. This is the, uh, a part of the uh, very important uh, uh, temple in Japan, almost uh, the history, almost 500 years ago. It, uh, a golden temple. This is one of the uh, very traditional Korean house. Of course, the building, the construction, the know-how moved from uh, from Korea to Japan, but the uh, uh, different concept, understanding about the building, the a little bit looks similar, but. The, this curve is very sharp, this is not so sharp. And most important thing is like that. Even this building is constructed 500 years ago, every member, every column and beam and joist is perfectly the same, uh, like as produced from the modern factory. Uh, even the carpenters made. But the only perfect scene, perfectly, perfect detail. But in Korea, from like this here, the column itself, the side and the not the vertical. Uh, from here, from this building, one of the very famous Korean pavilion, Gyeongsan uh, lecture for the Confucius in Andong. You know, Andong, uh, my home, and I started the middle school and high school. And uh, last year, the, the Royal Majesty, uh, Queen Elizabeth, she visited my uh, family's uh, new town in Andong, here. And the uh, very famous, very old, very high, high educated person, uh, very proud of the, their culture in Andong. So, in this uh, lecture hall, you can see every column, sometimes not so vertical. And especially this beam, the shape and the size, everything is different. You cannot find the same same members here. And the joists of the look here is perfectly different. And in museum, even the, the floor, floor is it must it couldn't be designed by computer. It must be designed by free hand In museum. Uh, 
So why we like this? Why we must be like that? The carpenter is not skilled? No. I think no, perfectly not. We can make a very straight. Uh, but uh, our mind, our mind is uh, we cannot endure this perfect detail. Also, the great mind cannot endure this low detail. This is a very, very different situation. Uh, what is better? Uh, I don't know. But uh, because of this mind, for the last 20th century, they are pro producing for the camera and the, or Sony, transistor or cars, their detail are the perfect and their industrial material is the best in the world, very, very successful Japanese uh, technology from the, this mind since a long time ago. But I think uh, from the 21st century and the required individual character not the mass production, not the same equalized mass, mass production in uh, the much not expected from the century, I think it should. So, uh, from this century, from this kind of the artistic mind, uh, surely we will have, we will have good opportunity in this 21st century. Thank you very much, your listening. If you have some questions. Yes, if, if, you, um, if you would like to um, slip out, can you do so now? Just take a minute and if you need to leave, because we'd like to take uh, at least a few questions. I know several people asked if um, they would get a chance for a question. So if you need to go, please do so in the next minute or so. And um, maybe actually I would like to kick off with a question, um, because having seen um, so many steel structures with membrane, Mr. Ryu. Um, it is, it's striking that the uh, impression that is given of the World Cup and of the Olympic Stadium, they're very advanced buildings. Um, and so one, I'm a little, I'm, I'm almost embarrassed to think about Atlanta uh, Olympics where the buildings were even old fashioned brick buildings. Could you talk a bit more about how uh, Korean architecture is presenting uh, itself to the world? Because these are quite sophisticated buildings. I think the difference with America was that we were almost trying to present an in some sort of instant history uh, to the world. And I'm impressed that these uh, advanced structures are, are on display. Can you tell us more about... In different contexts, how you can make the different architecture. Uh, let me say some Chinese character. I hope you have some understanding. I will say. I would say it's a Chinese case, I'm sorry, some of the um, cannot understand. But uh, uh, let me explain about the meaning. Uh, 2,000 years ago, the Kung Fu, Confucius, uh, according to the, his concept, he said like that. So she means uh, every time, whenever, whenever. Uh, it means, this letter means uh, located in center. Every time must be located and or every time must be adapting in center. Center means sometimes the right. So it means uh, if we design some building, every time must be adapting the existing context. It's the same meaning, just the same meaning. So the, you know, the way I designed in Korea, in mountain, uh, for the countryside, of course I must have understand the Korean context, the weather and soil context, and uh, the surrounding landscaping, the view, everything, and, and the user's activity, of course. But uh, 
with the same approach. If I have high-rise building in China, of course I must understand of the typhoon, the storm, how, how strong the wind, the, how strong the earthquake, the seismic problem, and of course the, uh, the users, Chinese, the how to earn the money from the building, each context also. And of course, uh, the Chinese philosophy is one of the important uh, the context also. I must, if I have a project in Manhattan, I don't need to say about the Korean tradition. Of course not. I must learn the technology and uh, I must use the modern high technology and everything. And also I must adapt to their activity. This is context. The way is the same, only the context is different. The Kung Fu, he said 2,000 years ago, like that. Every time, whenever, whenever, or every time must be adapted in center. Center means the, the good adapted. So I think, uh, so I can say to you, um, when you come back to your hometown, no need to be confusing about the tradition and modern, I think. Always say, if you need some um, modern building, building, it must be the, 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 the context. If you have the very uh, countryside building for the local, of course you, you must use the kind of material of the feeling, the most adaptive the con context. It's not different. So, so you know, the, uh, and let me say only one more important thing. Uh, This is the world, like this, for example, the world. We are Western living here. We are real living here. We got only 200 years to be born. But, yeah. And Western people are, uh, of course, very, very long history, very advanced uh, the, the culture here. Yeah. But also this part, uh, of course, we have, we have uh, very deep philosophy and very deep culture also. But, uh, but after second, uh, World War II, uh, there are no the differences of, the, you know, the after World War II, we cannot say the, uh, the Western history or Eastern history. Or we must say only world history. It means uh, we must have the all information about from the West. I learned the mathematics, geography, and even astronomy. And I, of course, I have some understanding about the European culture or the history and everything. But, uh, uh, but this is one of the about here. But already we have uh, a long totally if I plus like that. Sometimes we can have like this, day. but uh, from this, without understanding about this, at least from ten people of to learn about this long history, the culture also, because. Uh, Korean people may just switch them so much here. They are studying, they are, they are learning about the modern architecture from the advanced country in the United Kingdom and a lot. And they can plus sometimes like that. But I worry in, 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 in really some of the Korean, some of the Eastern students, they forgot about this part. They forgot about the meaning of the Chinese character. They want always oriented to the Western. It means lost themselves. Like, I think uh, even from today, uh, don't forget about this uh, existing merit also. And also, I can say for the Western people, try to understand about this, uh, to 
together we can make more uh, good information. I think the information and knowledge is not so important for the creation of architecture because uh, the innovation from the Europeans suddenly, you know, they, the, the innovation is moved to the deeper mountain of the Nepal or Korea by the internet together. We can get the very easily the information and knowledge. Long time ago, the information is, it could be a very powerful people who had some information, but it uh, uh, spread out very, very, very easily. So in a second time, we can get the information, which is not so important for the creation of architecture. So I think more deep understanding about this and the deeper meditation is more and more important for the design, I think. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ryu.